Remy, welcome to Mekon, man. Thanks so hey much. Guys. For being here today. Hey guys, good to see you. How are you guys doing? Yes, great. We've been good. looking forward to this session. Uh, you know, as you and I have been preparing for this, I've just been so excited because you're going to bring so much great information to these artists who want to hit the road, you know, want to be touring more and just get more opportunities to get out there. So I'd love to know, you know, give us a little background about how we got here today and, you know, where Tune Tracks came from. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I am a music entrepreneur. Uh, I should say music tech entrepreneur. I've been originally from Paris, where I'm located right now, and uh, I manage venue, um, and uh, we're actually in Paris, and I relocated to Los Angeles back in 97, uh, really to follow my passion for both music and technology. So um, this is, you know, the last 15 years, I book about, four, I, I don't know, 40, 325 uh, artists, and about hosted about 1,300 shows. Uh, from local to regional to national and to national uh, acts. Uh, so my passion in assisting up and coming out artists is really, um, you know, helping them to be successful in their career is really what's, uh, what's been driving me uh, in, my, uh, in my own personal career. And uh, why did I start Tune Tracks? Basically, uh, well, I will have to explain what Tune Track is all about, <laughs> making the assumption that not everybody knows. But um, you know, I spent many years, like as I mentioned, running concert venue and producing music festivals and booking thousands of performers, you know, um, in my career. And what I witnessed is the uh, struggle that artists have a, uh, you know, first in the struggle of, uh, you know, underrepresented artists or becoming artists to, um, uh, to, uh, to grow their career and, um, and uh, to represent themselves. So, um, to feel the immediate need, uh, some musician friends and I and myself, and I don't consider myself, although I play music, but I don't consider musicians. Um, uh, we created a, a set of, uh, you know, do-it-yourself tools uh, that's an online tool for them, which uh, ended up uh, call, uh, the platform ended up calling uh, Chin Tracks. So um, today an artist, uh, you know, as you know, an artist need a website, you know, they need a media kit, they need uh, all the social media plugins, you know, account, they need a MailChimp to send, you know, um, you know, their uh, newsletters to their fans and stuff. And on top of that, they need, you know, distribution, like, you know, services like CD Baby, D Dito, Distro Kids, whatever they use. Um, and that's what's not enough. They also need uh, to run their promotions, you know, everything from, you know, the release of the single, the EP, uh, announcing the tour, you know, that sort of thing. So um, are you getting Daisy? No, not yet. Oh, uh -oh. That... wait, you froze. Okay. You froze for a minute, but uh, I think the computer got- free. I think the computer got dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. You got, right. overloaded. So... you got overloaded with all the information, but we're okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of where did, did where did we leave it? Uh, where did I get? You know, um, where did no, we, we heard everything? Up to, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's where we, uh, you know, chin uh, track come in. So from creating, um, you know, a press kit to promoting, you know, shows to managing social media channel, uh, all that sort of things. You know, connecting with fans, of course. Uh, to give you an opportunity to just do about everything an artist needs to do online, you know, um, with, uh, with Tune Tracks, just in one place. And that's very important. That's something that we'll discuss a little bit further uh, later on in the presentations. Um, so basically, Tune Tracks become an all-in-one tool platform, if you will. So that helps artists to self-publish, uh, to distribute, to book, and promote their music. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah. So you've helped so many artists, you've been on the road, obviously produced so many events, you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. What we're going to talk about today, I know we can talk about a million things, and luckily we are going to be hosting some future workshops and master classes with Remy, so you're going to want to get signed up. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, but right now we're talking about the EPK, the Electronic Press Kit. What do you see? Okay, so well, like, we're going to go into all the things. Which company? Which company? Can you name one of the companies that you were working for before? A big name? Uh, the, the company I worked for before? 
and in the uh, tourist space, it's you, obvious. You really want to make me feel really old. Um, well, the one that's really appropriate today to talk about is Live Nation. Uh, there you go. To- that's it. I just wanted to make sure that because that Live Nation Urban is one of our partners. Uh, um, they're powering this conference. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. That's mm-hmm. just a little plug. Yeah, and Remy, that's, that's, on one of the coolest venues in LA. So that's yeah, fine. that's right. That's right. That's right. The Wilton Theater, my favorite venue. Wow. Um, yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, and, and many others. You now, I, I used to work for a company called uh, Digital Island out of San Francisco. And we run uh, digital media content for Disney, Universal Studio, and uh, many, many others. Uh, Capital Records, uh, just to name a few. So um, big, ve- big veteran in the game, love it. Right, but I'm like I'm like you guys. I'm I'm most likely you know with an independent mindset. So yeah. you know, as a music tech entrepreneur, uh, I want I kind of wanted to do serve the underrepresented, if you will, underrepresented artists. So today we talk about the APK, we, we, you know, like Rachel mentioned, we do a lot more uh, of the stuff and hopefully we'll have enough time to talk about, you know, touch base about, you know, all the things that how, you know, how we can help our artists, you know, to be successful in their uh, musical career. So, yeah. uh, so there's a lot more. Shows, so you're booking shows, you're looking at all these artists that are trying to get on stage and you're flipping through all these EPKs. What are artists doing wrong that they're not getting noticed and they're not getting booked? I will tell you in a minute. Uh, you want me to, uh, well, this, you know, uh, first of all, I think there's like a misunderstood what an APK is. Not everybody understands what it is. So the attention today is kind of, you know, remind to some of, you know, of people listening to uh, to the uh, broadcast, you know, just a reminder what, what's an APK, what's an electronic press kit, so what do you need, what do you need for, what should be in there, and what do you need one to start with, like to answer your questions, right? So, um, you know, this is like for some, you know, some, some of you guys listening, this is like, duh, we know that, you know, like this is the basic. But believe me, you know, when we engage in conversations, you know, on the daily basis with uh, up and coming artists, uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter the size and the geographic location of them. Some of them is like, what is, what is really an APK? I know, I, I kind of know what it is, but I really don't know what should be in there. And uh, actually, I don't really know how to use it. You know, like everybody that talk about surprise. having an APK. That doesn't surprise me. I honestly run into uh, right now in the chat. I'm sure a lot of artists, when I say the word split sheet, they're going to be like, huh? And, <laughs> and, the, and that's the one thing that you need to get paid. So, you know, right. Uh, right. I get it. So that, that's kind of like what, you know, we've been working with you guys and it's super excited to talk about teaming up on this and on this workshop. I mean, the APK is kind of like the starting point, you know, like engaging and getting those, uh, you know, the artists, I think we have a common ground, common uh, understanding that they, we, we need, they need some help. And, and, well, and. Uh, I want to say ahead. it in men's terms for those of you watching an APK it's sort of like your profile picture on Tinder. It's either gonna determine whether somebody swipes right <laughs> or swipes left. And trust me, these companies swipe the wrong way all the time. You wanna get chosen, you need to have a great EPK. Therefore, a great So what are, why don't we get started? I'll, I'll show you, it's gonna take not very long. I'll, I'll show you the basic. Uh, I'll show you some sample, more importantly, you know, what's a good APK, what's a bad APK, that sort of thing. Walk you through a couple of slides. I promise it's not going to be boring. And then uh, towards the end, I kind of want to give uh, you know the people listening to us what we have cooking for them as far as we're music you know entrepreneur uh, beyond the conference. So a ton, like ton of like awesome workshop and seminars and webinars. So I'm pretty stoked about sharing. If you don't mind uh, to share some of that uh, today, yeah. Okay, uh, should I share my screen? Is that yeah, the way we're doing it? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna share um, the uh, this one and I'm gonna share, um, I guess this one here. Okay, so I got to share. All right, can you see my screen? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. So um, 
So basically, you know, I walked you through, you know, brief, brief uh, a quick presentation, you know, um, you know, what's uh, the issue of like, I'll, I'll go back. It was like an introduction, you know, where we are quickly, briefly, and uh, wh what is an APK, what do you need it for, and what should be in your APK, right? Um, so, as I mentioned, Tuntrax is a one time shop for independent artists to self publish and promote and distribute the music and to get books. So, really, our mission is like really in sync with what music entrepreneur, uh, you know, uh, mission is. is assisting independent artists to be successful in their musical career, you know, so whether it's helping them to manage the content, you know, providing this tune track platform with all the tools to manage the publish and distribute the content to, you know, helping them with, you know, uh, sharing and I'm pretty excited to show you some of the functionality about social media, how do we handle it so we don't, you know, artists don't spend countless hours of, you know, on the computer. The whole idea of tune track is like, Look, let us let us do what we know how to do the best, which is developing you know um, tools for for versa artists while you're creating and focused on your music. So um, as you know now today, I mean it's not just uh, being an artist; it's also you have to almost have to be an entrepreneur. You you know 50 50. You have to be creating music 50 percent of your time, and a good chunk 50 percent of your time you you know you're focusing on whether it's promoting it. Or you know, um, you know, sending out your APK to medias, uh, you know, booking shows or booking a tour, that sort of thing. So that's what TuneTrack is is about. So the what's an APK? As John said, it's an APK. Before we were sending out, uh, you know, uh, it's a digital version of you know a professional career. Uh, we used to send physical uh, kits. So people would go, you know, they will take the, 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 the car and they'll drive to the radio stations and they say, here's my APK, you know, and they will hand out a hard copy of, you know, with a CD and, you know, a nice little good looking picture, uh, possibly, and uh, a little bio about the, the, the band. And this APK will be used for a bunch of different purposes. We'll get into detail, but from booking short venues and festival to, you know, contact you know, media outlets, uh, radio stations and music promoters. Um, so the issue with old school with P APK, and believe it or not, as a hand writer myself, I'm still getting a lot of PDF attachments and a ton of links in their emails. Um, let me tell you one thing, it's like, you almost guarantee that I will never open that that email if you set you know as a time value if you send me a booking request to perform one of the music festivals that you know I'm producing or a show that I'm booking if you send me an attachment most likely myself or any time buyers that I know will open it there's you know privacy issue there's you know there's a scam there's like you know viruses there's you know and it takes times it takes a lot of you know, like if I don't know you at all, if I don't know who you are, if you send me an attachment, I probably won't open it for obvious reasons. So uh, also when it's a hard copy and then you go in the old school way, you know, it's hard to update your APK, you know, and then, you know, you're not sending the same APK to the media that you're sending to Vernie, you know? So like imagine that every single time you have to go to Kinko and print your hard copy, you know, and then goes with the CD, it, it, it could be, you know, time consuming and also expensive. And also on obviously in art copy, except if you actually physically, you know, go and end up a CD, you know, you can stream from a PDF file, right? So uh, that's self-explanatory why we think that's not a great idea. So, um, you know, the reason we use a press kit is to get, you know, uh, uh, to get uh, press, you know, obviously, you know, a, a press kit, what press wouldn't be called an APK, uh, to get article, interview, you know, blogs, and magazine, all this stuff that, you know, think you think it's, it's, it's important for uh, the, the person on the receiving end to, to know about, uh, about you. Um, let me share that. Next step, to get your music played. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, whether it's a radio station, um, you know, it could be non-commercial radio stations, internet radio, it doesn't matter. You know, now, now that you most likely gonna have electronic press kit, you can, you can use it for multiple purposes and we're gonna get that. 
to get shows, to book, to book gig and be successful at it, you know, to set up to APK to talent buyers, festival, whether it's a festival, it's a venue or a showcase a South by Southwest uh, or to just music promoter that's actually booking your show or to private gig. So that's, that's the whole thing. It's also used for, uh, to recruit managers, to recruit booking agents, you know, anyone, any professional, uh, you know, music professional, that's really a tool that can help you out to, you know, talk to publicists, uh, even potentially talk to a sponsor, you know, like they, they want to know in a quick snapshot what you're all about. They're not interested to read a book about your life and, and, and find out what's, you know, what's, what you're all about. You know, they want to know in 30 seconds, you know, maybe they'll spend a minute uh, to find out if they want to actually find out more about you. And they you know, therefore it's important to get your contact information in your purse kit. So where should be in your APK, you know, obviously your bio and also something to consider in your bio. bio. I have, I'm getting press kits where I have a page bio. You know, I'm not going to read that either. So give me like a, a elevator pitch, a one small paragraph, give me a medium one and give me a long one. You know, you can have multiple options and multiple version of your, of your bio, bio. You know, there's not just one single version of a bio. Um, you know, and uh, so the photos, obviously, you know, professional photos. It's also a good idea. Uh, there's a lot of requests, people requesting black and white version of a video. Um, so, um, you know, including, uh, you know, good quality photos. And that's something else. So uh, we've been uh, talking with, uh, with uh, music entrepreneur to offer type of services to independent artists. Uh, having your logo as well, it's a good idea as well. Your music, that's self-explanatory. I want to be able to listen to your music, you know, create some song playlists of your albums and stuff like this. Video, the same way. Most likely the video come from YouTube uh, this day, but you can upload also your own. If you don't want to use the leverage network, you can use your own, you know, uh, uh, net native uh, video as well. Uh, article, as we mentioned as well. Or, or any press, you know, that's relevant, any interview, any, anything that cover your bands in the past, it's good to have in there. Achievements, you know, did you ever receive an award? Were you, you know, not, you know, noticed in the, you know, by, you know, some kind of radio charge or airplay, you know, it's not, uh, you know, not worth it to, uh, uh, you know, or, or specific festival or show that you, you know, you perform at, that's a uh, thing noticeable. Your contact information, uh, I have detailed contact information, you know, uh, email, phone number, and your name. That's it. That's pretty much all we need. And of course, all your social media links. So today, as I mentioned, you know, they're all school to do APK. You know, what's important is to get everything in one spot. Okay. So you don't want to have a, a chunk of information somewhere and then, you know, I have to leave and go somewhere else and click on YouTube because, you know, you're not, a lot, you know, you're not able to handle video, for example. Focus on positive APK experience, you know, no distractions. I don't need background music. Um, and the artist, you the one that control the content and the way you want it to be displayed on your APK. That's very important because there's some solution up there where you have no control how you, you know, all, all your information has been displayed. I think you should have control. If possible, get an APK, we can make some, you know, dollars, some, some money, uh, you know, uh, I don't think that's a bad idea. You know, while people are checking me out, they, someone might get my, buy my CD or, you know, download my digital, you know, uh, album and some sort of things. Um, it's also, it's a great way you APK to learn about your fans. So that's kind of like what we call the APK main ad. There's a lot of different solutions, not a lot, but there's a lot of solutions, you know, like, you know, you can build your own website, uh, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of, of solutions that's not really prefer performing the web-based ideas of an APK to be able to update from anywhere, anytime. Uh, so the next generation of APK is actually an interactive APK, something that is reliable. You can manage all your content, just 100% control. Uh, it's mobile friendly because 80% as we know, people are connected um, you know, through, their, through their phone, most likely, 80% of the time. So it's very important that 
when I get access to APK, it's formatted for, my, for any phone and, 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 you know, your handheld devices. That's super important. Uh, show your calendar of upcoming shows and events. That gave me as a time buyers an idea. What have you done in the past? How many shows have you done? Have you performed? And what upcoming show do you have going on? You know, and then of course, you know, if I want to go deeper and get to know you, I'll look at you. You know, I expand. You know, you uh, your social network. You know, um, so it's, it's also a great way for you to share your APK with the rest of the world. So there's a couple of bunch of resources that we offer, and we'll get into the. Uh, the, the, the front part, we're actually looking at APK, what we think the APK should be. Um, TuneTrack.com, it's a great way to get more information. So we offer professional services. Uh, we mentioned the workshop and the webinar with Music Entrepreneur that's coming up. Uh, we've got a bunch of video tips. Uh, we have one specific, you know, getting more in depth into what should be in it, what's an APK and what you use it for. Um, you know, so the services, some of the services related to the APK that we provide, we have a team of music marketer that can help you to build the APK. If you say, oh gosh, you know, like this is a great presentation, but I don't know where to start. You know, I, you know, so we, we're here to help you. We truly passionate about what we do. And we, you know, we're very proud of like stepping in and helping every single artist that need help. So. So you get you get that you know you get the music mar marketing pro that can help you out you know building your own APK. Um, it's important that you get when you choose the solutions that you get full support when you need it the most. You know, not only for the sales. You know, actually it's free to sign up on TuneTrack and create your APK. But you know, make sure that you know you have some kind of ongoing support. You know, later on the road, you know, like when it's time for you to promote your show. And you know, to send out to APK to media outlets. You have one question: Who do you ask? Where do you go? You know, get people. Make sure the people that you trust, you know, with your APKs, actually, it will be there for you. Uh, and then, last but not least, uh, something that's very unique. What we do is not only build, helping you to build the APK, but we help you to submit to business opportunity. And then I think Jalen, we're going to be talking about that shortly. So. Um, Maybe I have a couple questions before yeah. you move on. Just you know, going back to the things that are in the EPK, um, social media. How much are you looking at? How big my following is? Location based, and also like what kind of content? When you go and you look at you know my my posts and in my platform, like what are you looking for? Well, I'm not really paying much attention to social media because I know you can buy likes, you can buy followers. I don't know what would believe anymore. You know, like I, I'm going to do my own research. And so what's super useful for me is, you know, getting a, a general understanding who you are before, you know, I make the connections with you. You know, like if I get a quick snapshot of, of you know, you, you past shows and your upcoming shows and, you know, a couple of pictures and you know, I can see you live performing live in you know, videos and stuff. That's more the type of content I'm looking for, you know, the, the you invest in people and talent. What a concept. Right, right. Because, you know, like, it doesn't matter. You know, I have great talents and I made, you know, amazing shows and showcases and stuff by software. So people that have, you know, 50 followers, uh, and, you know, but that was, I was blown away by the quality of the music. Number one, number one, it's all about music. Let's, let's remember one thing, you know, we're talking about music here. So if your music sucks, you know, I'm sorry, you know, like I'm very straightforward. If your music sucks, you I probably won't book you. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you have the best APK ever, uh, but if you're not, if you have absolutely no talent or, you know, uh, I, you know, I, and I obviously see it when I'm watching you live, performing live, then that's, that's the end of the road for you right here. Um, so let me, let me show you a couple of, you know, an example of what an APK, because I think we talked enough about, you know, what should be an APK. It's time to, uh, to share with you what an APK, APK should look like. So let's see, uh, can you still see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And you see the APK by any chance? Let yeah. me, okay. So I'm going to make the video small here. Okay. I'm not, I'm with a beard. My hair is cool. And I'm gonna be putting that somewhere here. Okay, so 
Uh, I took a random APK here, uh, Scott Pemberton all theory. So I can get into detail. You can click here and book directly this artist as I have sample. Um, if I'm a fan, I could contact him as well. And then it's all about your own configuration, whether or not you know you you're allowing some some of those features or not within your APK. You got obviously the bio, the short version, the long version. Um, a quick stat to tell you, you know, these guys have two playlists, you have one blog, 71 images. Curious to see what's in there. 30 video, one file. I'm probably I bet you it's a stage plot, which is super useful for time buyers. So we don't have to deal with emails. Oh, gosh, I forgot where the stage plot of that Scott Pemberton guy. Um, upcoming shows, invitations. That's something that is probably done using our uh, email uh, newsletter uh, marketing uh, that we have uh, embedded into your uh, press kit, and then audio track. So the type of, you know, it's a band, then the rock genre, he like Jimmy, you know, it's influenced like Jimi Hendrix, is linked to his social and linked to his website, links to all bands in town, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Spotify, and SoundCloud. So that's, and then on top, you get all this different audio. Um, so you got audio, the same thing for video. The really cool things, uh, we, as we were talking about, how easy it is to share. Okay, let me show you something. I won't get too much in detail because we're going to handle social media in a different course. But it, let's say if I want to handle and man, you know and 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 share this uh, this content, it doesn't matter where it is, audio, video. I can instantly share it to all the social media network. We did all the pre work for you. We pre formatted all this content for you, so you don't have to wow. worry about anything. So videos and gallery. So let's see why you have so many pictures. Uh, it's got Pemberton a trio. So, so I bet you. So yeah. So it's so posters. So you got a ton of show that give me right away. Is like, these guys been busy, right? Um, and then you know shows upcoming show. You can embed it into Bend in Town. So we partner with Bend in Town. So you can follow on Bend in Town the artist. You can see the upcoming show. Apparently you didn't enter his upcoming show. There's only one past show. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he disconnected his account from Bend in Town. And then all the other stuff. You can see the number of followers here. Uh, blogs. I want you to write a blog. So it will be here. It's kind of like you know a copy of the newsletter. Playlist, which is kind of interesting. It's great for radio stations. Uh, so, for example, I, I bet you use that combo. You know, that's uh, uh, that's something it, it can send. That's a, a bunch of songs that you know you think with you know, the radio station we like. So you can send that URL. You can copy that URL on top here, and then send it directly to the radio station. Wow. Um, what else? Uh, bandle. You can bandle. Uh, you know, I can bandle song. I can bandle album together. I can bandle anything I want. Um, different offering, if you will, and then file, let's see what's in there. File is the stage plot. So I click on it, the same thing. If I want to download it here, boom, I download it. I got access to my computer here. It's adding here, boom. I got so access to the stage plot. Very important uh, stage plot. We call it a writer here. Just make sure that you know and understand that that's a very key thing. You know, if you're an yep. independent artist, you want to have your writer set up so that you don't show up later on in the concert uh, or the venue and you start complaining about right. <laughs> what isn't there. Right, exactly, exactly. And then, you know, they can book, it's gonna get uh, automatically, depending on how it, it decided to be notified, if it's want to be notified by email, you want to be notified within the platform. So everything stay in, uh, it can do that. I'll show you quickly, not the most exciting, but you know, that's the configuration, how easy it is. You know, you put, you tell where you are, you put your genre, you put your uh, your bio, the short version, the long version, you put your website, your booking manager, his name, his email, all that sort of things directly into the uh, into the platform. And we do the rest, you know, the notification. How do you want to be notified? You know, notified when people, you know, your fans attending an event, you want to be notified when you receive a booking request, you want to... You know, so we all about, you know, uh, giving as much flexibility as possible uh, to uh, to the artist. So that's kind of like the, the old purpose of Tune Track. Yeah, 
No, great. This has uh, been fantastic. And again, you know, some some of you are going to see this and be like, well, this is, I get it, it's basic stuff. I have an EPK and this and that, but I don't think you have something like this. This is something that is truly a portal of, of your of your work. You know, like you can see right then and there everything about you as an artist. And I think it's wonderful because you can send it out. You don't have to say anything. You just send it out and whatever it is that, that the people are looking for, whether they're trying to book you or they're, they're trying to, work with you as a, as a musician or put, create press about you. All the information is in one place. Uh, I, I like how it's organized. Mm -hmm. um, myself as, as a, you know, I've been an right. artist my whole life and, a, and as a producer now, I can tell my artists to, to utilize this platform. So thank right, you. Right, yeah. right. So, um, artists, remember, they're not gonna open a PDF. You need to have everything accessible, easy to click, you know, really make it easy for the talent buyers. You want to book more? That's the first thing that you need to that you need to do. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Remy, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you I want to say it's the one of thing. Problem. Sorry, I want to say one yeah. thing that's really important to, uh, you know, like there's a lot of artists like, well, I've got a website. I don't need an APK. Well, let me tell you, like, how many times do you update your website? You know, do you have, uh, update your website on a daily basis? No, probably not. You know, do, you know, even the do-it-yourself website. So, it's very important to kind of like you know keep your content up to date. You know, yep. you will not believe. You know, people sending me you know a booking request with outdated you know content. It's such a turn off as a time buyers. You know, this you want you want to get the freshness. You want to get the up to date. You want to get the latest. What's going on with you, John? You know, what's going on with your music? What's going yeah. on? You know, everything you selling, it's your pitch, it's your opportunity as an artist, you know, to sell, to sell whatever it's a fan, a musical, you know, uh, a professional, you know, a, a time buyers or, you know, a media outlet. It doesn't matter where it is, you know, you put it out there, you know, if you have good, high level, you know, good quality content, most likely people is going to go, we're going to be impressed and you're going to get, you know, a positive feedback and, and positive return. So, um, I want to go back to briefly uh, to show you what secretly we've been working on with you guys uh, because I'm pretty excited about uh, about that as well. It's just one slide. I uh, promise we won't start again. Uh, that is the last slide uh, about the uh, the type of services and the type of uh, workshop uh, we plan and we start working on. So. You know, we have a workshop, how do you expand your network? You know, uh, how do you succeed in you know, managing your own booking? That's something we have, I think Rachel and I would be working on it, you know, putting a booking one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, workshop together. And I'm super stoked about it because not only I have a lot of experience booking, but I see over and over the same mistakes. You know, how to prepare your first tour. Are you, you know, how do you reach out to media outlet? That's a big one too, as well. How do you protect your music with, you know, through copyright and trademarks? How do you publish your own album? You know, what does that mean? How do you publish your album? How do you self-publish your own album? You know, um, you know, how do you manage your social media? That's another big course and, and workshop we'll have going on. We have one that's been very successful is also how do you optimize your YouTube channel? And of course, because we love this Zaba software, then we attended and not only attended, but we also hosting uh, uh, showcases every year. How do you survive the first year at Zaba software? Uh, so it sounds like uh, it's a lot, but uh, it's it's all very useful. You know, it, it come it, it come really handy, and it's real. It's based on experience, based on what people need the most, and it's not just you know, a um, bunch of music tech entrepreneur that decided you need an APK or you need to optimize your YouTube channel, for example. Yeah. Uh, so artists, get over to tunetrack.com right now. There's a ton of opportunities you can start, you know, applying for right away. You can start utilizing these EPK tools, musicentrepreneur.com. We have our whole services section. So you're going to be able to sign up for these workshops. And let us know what's missing. What, what else do you have questions about? What would you really like support with? And we're going to make sure to create something just for you. Um, so that's the most important thing is that, you know, this is a two-way street. Let us know what else you need support with. And we're there. So 
Remy Jordan, thank you so, thank much, you so much for everything that you've done, for bringing this all together, for being here today. Um, this is super valuable. So we need I to get- I want to say one thing. Around. I want to thank you guys for doing this. This is amazing. I mean, this is exactly what the industry need. Uh, we need a new fresh outlook as well. Uh, yeah. And I know you've been doing it for four years now. Is that right? Yeah, it's hard yeah. to believe, huh? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. <sighs> half years, but I think this year is going to be the biggest one by far. And I see you guys growing, and it's super excited to be involved with uh, with you and 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 be part of it. I'm, it's an honor. It's really, uh, I think you know, there's so many uh, speakers, and I think Live Nations and the Microsoft guys through as well. I've been. Sky's the limit, and I think you guys are a perfect example. Like, if you put your, you know, your, your focus and energy uh, and your passion to something, uh, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be successful, and you guys are a proof of it. So, uh, a living proof because, like, people that are successful when they die, but there's people that are actually successful when they're alive, and they're, you know, uh, so, well, and one thing that I want to point out, sorry, I was just going to say one other thing. So I think it's so important for entrepreneurs to know, you know, our theme has always been collaborate and rise, right? And it's really amazing to see how, you know, we've come together and now we've got the support of, yeah, like Live Nation Urban and Microsoft and all of this that really want to see this grow and succeed. And we're able to help you with your platform and, you know, and you with ours, there's enough to go around, which is, you know, which is great, but also it's not like we just met yesterday, right? We met right. years ago on a different project. That project didn't end up working out. We've stayed in touch. You know, you saw some more stuff that, that we were doing and we saw you and we reconnected recently. And, you know, we were saying, okay, let, there's something here. There's a reason that we connected. Let's figure out how to make it happen. It wasn't like, you know, we just, we just let it go. And sometimes these things take years, right? To find the right moment, to do the right thing. And that's really what entrepreneurship is all about. You, you can't, yeah. you know, the plans never go exactly as planned, um, but. Um, that's, but a, that's another thing. You always have a plan B and, you know, never give up, be consistent. And, you know, and, you know that's my last advice for the day, you know, be consistent and you guys will prove it, you know, like if you fail once, you know, like, you know, just try again. Get back you know? up, dust it off and go. Uh, I was going to leave everybody with yeah. one word, perseverance. Right. Right, right, right. The, the biggest failure is not to try. You know, I failed so many times. And, and, you know, and if you follow your passion, if you're good at what you're doing, you know, don't worry about it. Just step, you know, get back on your foot and, and, and then, you know, keep, keep, keep hustling, keep, keep doing what you're doing and you believe in. And one day, and TuneTrack is the, per, the perfect, you know, example for it. You know, I started it, that was 10 bands, you know, 50 bands, 100 bands. Today, we close to 10,000 bands. I mean, and completely organically. We don't advertise. We don't pay advertising. Uh, we have awesome partner like Music Entrepreneur, but like, we don't, you know, it's word of mouth. So we probably going to do, you know, we're probably doing something right because, you know, if we suck at it, you know, people, other artists won't say like, hey, you should, you should look at TuneTrack, you know? And by the way, behind me is all, you know, few of a concert, but, uh, you know, Tune Tracks uh, hosted and uh, among other artists. Some of them are not so upcoming anymore. That's another thing. Today, you guys are listening. You might be, you know, up and coming emerging artists. Let me tell you, you know, out of the 15 years I've been doing this, you know, how many artists, and I, I won't, you know, I won't drop names because I, I don't, I never liked it, but uh, that's why I probably have the posters in the back. So I don't even have to drop the names. They're right behind me. But like some of those names, you know, they were like baby bands. They were underrepresented. They were, they were struggling. They were hustling. But they, were, they never give up. They've been consistent in one thing. Never give up. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. Put faith in what you do. And, and those bands today, you know, 10 years later, they're super successful. And some of them being me, they're getting thirty, forty thousand dollar guarantee when they're performing one show. You know, so so don't believe it's because you're emerging today that in five years, ten years, or even less than than that. You know, yourself, you'll be, you know, the big names. You know, that everybody's talking about. So again, thank you guys. Thank you again. I can't wait for our workshop. And thanks again for uh, for uh, hosting this uh, this event. It's fantastic. You got it. Absolutely. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.
Right. 